zoax.net. Lesson 2. Output. For this lesson, you will need a project like the one we created in Lesson 1. We will start by looking at the Hello World program that we created in Lesson 1. When we created this project, almost all of the code in the program was generated automatically. The only line that we added was this one. We will explain all of this generated code eventually, but for now we will ignore it and simply create our programs by adding code here as we did in Lesson 1. The line that we added begins with system.out.println. System, out, and println are three different parts of this command, which are separated by periods. The purpose of the periods will become clear later on. For now it is sufficient to understand that periods separate distinct parts of a command. To explain these three parts, I will simply say that system is part of the Java standard. Out stands for output and print ln is short for print line. So this command prints a line of text to the place for standard output. In NetBeans, this is the pane that we showed in Lesson 1. After this, we have the message that gets printed in parentheses and quotes. The parentheses are part of the command print line. The quote marks and the text make up what is called a string literal. At the end of the line is a semicolon which signals the end of a line of code. That was our first program. Do not worry too much about the details. You will pick them up as we go. Let us move on to a second program. For this one, we created a project just like the one in Lesson 1, except that we called it Java Lesson 2. In this program, we print the message zoax.net Java Lesson 2 in three lines. Here we use three lines and three separate string literals in the program. Recall that we can execute the program by left-clicking Run in the menu bar and left-clicking Run Project in the sub-menu. Otherwise we can simply press F6. Either way, if we run this, we will see this message in the output pane. Notice that each command generates a separate line of text. That is the effect of the println command. If we want this entire message on one line, we can use print commands instead of print ln like this. Now we have changed the first two commands to print so that they do not create new lines of text. We have also added an extra space in the strings so that the text will not be jammed together. Again, you can use the menu or press F6 to execute it and you should see the text all in one line like this. So the effect of print is that it prints the text without pushing the text to a new line. On the other hand, we may want to add extra line spacing to our output. To do that, we can use system.out.println without any string literal, like this. Here we have added two extra line spaces to our original program. So if we execute this program, we see this. The extra print line commands send the printing down a line without printing any visible characters. 